Welcome back. We're going to take you live now to the Gold Coast where Queensland police are providing a further update on the crash uh, between the two helicopters on the Gold Coast yesterday. Uh, no doubt, you know, there may be even passengers that would have had their own video footage. So this will be a meticulous and comprehensive investigation, uh, but they do take time. Mr. how long will it uh, remain a crime scene for OT? Uh, so I will. Um, I know that the two helos have been lifted. Um, so we did that on purpose this morning to preserve what we um, needed to. A lot of the scene has already been attended to. So I don't know if it still is a crime scene, but certainly a lot of work was done yesterday afternoon, and the evidence that the rest of the helos are actually um, in an exhibit exhibit area at the moment. Yeah, definitely. We reach out to um, our existing networks, particularly overseas through our consuls. Uh, that would have already been done as a part of the investigation. Uh, we've done, we'll do that very, very quickly. And interstate, reach out to you know police to deliver those messages. So there's always a lot of support in the background. Uh, my heart goes out to those people who came here to have a beautiful time on the Gold Coast and have tragically passed away here. Thank you. Thanks, everyone. That was an update there from Queensland Police on the fatal helicopter crash that killed four people on the Gold Coast yesterday. We'll bring you further details throughout the day uh, as they come to hand.